What's going on everybody? It's your boy Maniac. Today we're talking about the Note 10 Plus. We also gonna cover how I came about getting this phone and just my overall thoughts on this phone and should you upgrade? Let's get into the video. All right, so let me tell y'all something. This whole Apple versus Android thing, I ain't got no loyalties. I was first introduced to the Note series back when the Note 3 came out. Since then, I've owned the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6S. Man, I was team Apple until the Note 8 came out. And after that, for the last two years, this phone has been holding me down. I finally decided to upgrade from my beloved Note 8 to the Note 10 Plus. My initial disappointment was the loss of the headphone jack, which was announced way before the official Samsung event. I had to look myself in the mirror. I had to realize I don't honestly use a headphone jack that much. I find my Bluetooth headphones way more convenient, especially when I'm outside doing yard work or when I'm in the gym pretending like I'm doing something. I think it's time for us all to say goodbye to the headphone jack. I will say that my decision to choose a Note 10 Plus over the regular Note 10 was due to the fact that I wanted to be able to take advantage of the expandable storage via micro SD, the larger battery and the larger display. As far as where to purchase my Note 10 Plus, the website slash app called Swapper is always my first go to. You can really save yourself a decent amount of money using Swapper versus buying from phone carrier, Best Buy or Samsung. I would be lying if I didn't say it felt and still feels overwhelming getting any Android phone to the exact setup that you want it to have. Now, if you got an iPhone, you know, you, you're not having to deal with trying to figure out what type of icons you want to use or where you want to play certain widgets. You know, it's, it's just pick up, use, and maybe you can change up some folders and stuff like that, but Everything is pretty much locked up in the grid as far as using an iPhone. But me personally, I love to have a phone that looks completely different from any other Android phone because mine is custom to exactly how I use it. And that's what I love about Android. As far as pros, going from a 3300 milliamp battery to a 4300 milliamp battery has been amazing i can finally get a full day's use from a phone and if i ever find myself in a bind i can easily connect using the 25 watt charger the 45 watt charger that they supposedly been putting out there and saying that it's phenomenal is not all what it's cracked up to be there's videos and articles stating that basically the 25 watt is almost just as good as, if not the same performance when it comes to charging your phone. So save your money. You're not going to get that great of a boost in charging ability. So just, just keep your money. Stick with a 25 watt charger. As far as the camera, the camera on here is top notch you know what i'm saying you got the p30 pro and the pixel 3 right behind it but as far as cameras this thing is official the s pen controls i love the s pen controls on this going from the regular note 8 pen i didn't have any type of bluetooth functionality you just had just the ability to write so being able to control my phone and being able to you know step back and take pictures and change the volume up and down and it was official going a little bit deeper into the s pen um some of this stuff is kind of gimmicky you know there's a lot uh, a slight learning curve with getting the hang of the actual s pen features when it comes to the camera but i mean it works i mean it's just all about trying to find some type of way to use it. And I, I see them maybe, you know, refining this feature. But as of right now, the S Pen alone, just with the controls 
that it gives your phone, it's worth it. The night mode. The night mode on here is another official item that I did not have on my Note 8. And I love it. It, it definitely, you know what I'm saying, brings out those qualities on the darker images and, you know what I'm saying, makes you feel like you're really doing something. Thoughts. Thoughts on upgrading from the Note 9 or the S10 Plus. So, to my Note 9 users, I suggest waiting six months or even a year until the next Note comes out. Just because Samsung phones are notorious for depreciating quickly. I mean, just look at the S10 Plus after only being out for five months. Don't even get me started on a Note 9. It pays to be patient. Or should I say, it saves to be patient. For my iPhone users, you know, interested in the 10 Plus, if you're willing to let go of the iMessage, which I definitely miss sometimes, you will be amazed at how much you can do on this phone. In any case, with the iPhone 11 announcement being just around the corner, I recommend waiting to see if the Apple has anything new up their sleeves besides the yearly better camera, better battery. Hopefully, this video helps you decide on whether or not this phone is a must have. I can honestly say the more time I spend with this phone, the more I fall in love with it. Stay tuned for future Note 10 videos. If there's something that you want to see, drop a comment below. If you have a Note 10 Plus or you have a Note 10 or any type of Android and you're looking at this phone, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you dislike it. It's your boy Maniac and I'm out.